ourselves one of these. Mm -hmm. back to another episode of Atlas Survival Shelters. Isn't that the coolest thing in the world? You know, and you thought only the military could have all the fun stuff. Well, guess what? Usually they can. You know why? Because they're the only ones that can afford it. But guess what? Guess what I've been doing? These systems, which are typically like the Crows system, cost around two hundred dollars to $300,000. Well, what if you could get the same system, almost identical to it, for under $40,000. Well, that was my goal. So I went over to Israel and I went to the company that actually makes these systems and I said, hey, listen, you know, there's actually a civilian market that would be interested in your system. We could have fun with it, shoot it at the shooting range, take it out in the middle of the desert and shoot it, shoot it at pigs. I go, you don't realize there's some crazy Texans in the world and we would like to have one. But the problem is, we're not going to spend up two, three hundred thousand dollars on this system, but if you could probably get it below forty thousand dollars, if it was possible, there's just enough ranchers and farmers and pig hunters and crazy people in America that might be interested in buying one of your systems. So, do you think we could get something built? And believe it or not, we're going to get it done. So, in today's video, you're going to see me visiting the actual uh, laboratory where they design these machine gun systems and where we actually go out and start to test them. So the system that will be coming to the civilian market through Atlas Survival Shelters will be ATF approved. It will pass ITAR, okay? But it will only cost you under $40,000, and it will serve either semi-automatic or fully automatic guns. Um, it will have a range of uh, 1,000 meters, Okay, where the military version has two and a half thousand meters of infrared and laser optics on it. So we'll have some, uh, it'll have some differences, but you're going to see me test fire in the gun today or test fire in the system today. 
But you know what? If you're interested in one of these and you're just crazy enough that you got a Humvee or an MRAP like I do and that I'm in right now, uh, give me a holler, okay? And I'll see if I can arrange to get you one of these uh, one of these systems, okay? So guys, enjoy the rest of the video. So guys, hey, I appreciate you watching my video today on the Optimus shooting system. And as typical, YouTube doesn't want to monetize the video, so I thought I'd show you really, real quick, in about 10 seconds, what we do here at Atlas Survival Shelters. So what we do is we make underground bomb shelters that you would put underneath your house so you have a plan B in case the shit ever hits the fan. So guys, if you're thinking about having a safe place to go from tornadoes, nuclear war, uh, airborne pandemic like the world has never seen, I know it sounds crazy, but you should always have a plan B and your plan B should, should be an Atlas survival shelter. So guys, keep us in mind and back to the video on the Optimus shooting system. And this one is currently available, and this is being used by the Israeli forces Operation. in the United Nations. And this has the gyro built in, yeah. so this will stay fixed on. And this is typically for the M2HB. Yeah, and it can be also for the M2HB 240. Now, where, how much, what's the ammunition capacity on this? 200 rounds. 200 rounds, and where is it stored? Underneath? Here. Typically it's here? Bigger, uh, yeah, because that's not, yeah, that's a small capacity there. Okay, so there's, okay, there's the one that's working on the gyro. Oh, this, this is great. And we'll do a full 360, it doesn't matter. And that's the gyro stabilization you're testing over there. If, it, if the gun jams, it actually has the recock right here. So it will send it back and it will recock it. Um, in the other version, the one we're talking about carrying for Atlas, um, it doesn't. You would manually have to get outside and recock it and expose yourself. This is an iSafe laser range finder, class one, up to 3.3 kilometers. Uh, we can also install a version up to 10 kilometers, according to your needs. I think 3.3 kilometers is enough for what we have in mind. Okay. This is the thermal camera and this is the day camera. <laughs> Turn it, yeah. Up, down. What is the lowest angle it will go? Minus 30. Minus 30? And then the maximum angle? Plus 60. Will it lock on the aircraft or drones? Yeah. yeah. It will? Yeah. And it will lock on? That's going to follow me? Yeah. Wherever I move? Yeah. Down and up. It's following me. Because it's locked on with the laser? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that is cool. guys i hope you enjoyed today's video that is fun stuff right there i not everybody needs a machine gun turret but i tell you what there are people like me and people like some of you watching that want one now if you want to mount it on the top of your truck and shoot pigs at night with the laser optics give me a call i'm going to take some pre-orders on these things and see how i can arrange it now i've got to get itar approval for all this stuff because this falls under a military guidelines, but I'll have the approval. So if you want to pre-order one of these things, make sure you call me, 1-855-4-BUNKER, 
and uh, see what I can arrange for you. But guys, as always, make sure you like and subscribe. Hit that thumbs up if you like these kind of videos because I love making bunkers and I love my guns. So guys, as always, love you. I'll see you on the next video.